Welcome to the module on password security. So the first question is why is a password so important? Well, first of all, it will give you access to private information such as a business or school network, your email account, perhaps a gaming site, your bank account, or even your phone. These all contain data which you want to keep private. So how do you make a good, strong password? Well, here are some good rules. First, always good to have more than six letters or characters. Probably best to have less than 12 characters, otherwise it just becomes hard to remember. And have three of the following to make it really strong. At least one capital letter, at least one lowercase letter, at least one digit, and some sort of punctuation mark. For example, an exclamation mark or a question mark. Let's take a look at some good passwords. The following two will take about seven months for a computer to hack by brute force. In other words, trying all the options. Here, however, are some rather bad passwords. Chelsea, especially if you support them. Just password, because this is one of the first ones a hacker would try. Or 1234, it's just too short and only contains numbers. How should we make our passwords strong? Well, if a password is weak, it can be cracked by brute force just trying all the options. If you have a password with just two digits, it means there are just the 100 options. Combining three letters or lowercase digits gives 46,656 options. It's quite a lot for you to try, but for a computer, that's less than one second's work. Using six lowercase letters yields about 308 million possibilities. That seems a lot to us, but it's not very difficult for a computer to try. If you switch to having six uppercase, lowercase characters and digits, it becomes a more respectable 56.8 billion, which a computer can still have a go at. Add punctuation and it really does start to become very difficult, even for a computer. If you're going to have a strong password, you need ways also to be able to remember it. So here's a tip. Start with a couple of words that you can remember, such as your street name and say the name of your dog. So you could have Pelham because you live in Pelham Road and Rex because that's the name of your dog. Alter the letters for digits or symbols. So the three could become a pound sign or a small e or maybe a capital E. The number four would replace A or an ampersand. I or L would become one or an exclamation mark and so on. You can juggle these round to suit you. So whilst Pelham Rex in its altered form still looks quite easy to remember, it's still pretty hard for a computer to crack it and it would probably take the computer about four weeks to have a go by which time on your school account you'd probably find it was locked out if you added one more letter it would take six years for a computer to try to crack it securing your password it is really best not to write your password down and leave it lying around in a diary, especially if you put your log on next to it. So for example, if you've got your email address and then you write your password underneath it and then you lose whatever you've written it on, that makes your password and your email compromised. You should never tell your best friend your password. This is the easiest way for your best friend 
to not become a best friend at all. Use a set of passwords for different accounts so that if one account is compromised, all the others aren't. And I would suggest that you only use one password for your network or perhaps a school account and that you don't use it anywhere else. The same goes for bank accounts. Don't use the same password for all two bank accounts that you may have. Finally, let's look at the Computer Misuse Act. This is very important. We'll take a more in-depth look at the Computer Misuse Act later on in the informatics course. But here is an outline of the law. It is an offence to try to log on to someone else's account. You don't have to be successful. If you are trying to hack into somebody else's account, that is against the law. Also, it is an offence to try to access the data in someone else's account. So if you get in and look at files and emails, that too is an offence. It is also an offence to change the data in somebody's account. In other words, to send an email from their account or delete files. Even if they let you, you must not do this. If you get locked out of your account, don't use somebody else's, just ask for help. In summary, strong passwords keep your data and private information secure. If you have time, click below and find out how long it would take to crack a password. You click on the site, type in your password, and it will tell you approximately how long it would take a computer to steal your password and get into your account.